you can't do it, then what are you doing? Not doing I see your eyebrows moving. How do you see my eyebrows? I don't know, know but I do. Straight. Every change has a Um, as many of you know, this is my handsome husband, Jared. Say hey, Jared. Hello. I was really expecting you to say hey, Jared. <laughs> um, so this is actually our first, like, official sit-down video together. Jared, um, as many of you know, doesn't make appearances on my channel as much as I'd like for him to, as far as, like, things like this goes. Um, but as you have seen the title of this video, um, we are going to be talking about our goals for 2019. And I know that it's like halfway through January already. Um, so we're a little late to posting our like New Year's goals. But we wanted to give um, a couple of weeks of actually doing some of these things for them to really like resonate as far as which ones we really want to focus on and which ones we kind of want to focus less on. But... I have my fancy little notes here. Um, we have split everything up into four categories. We have religious goals, personal goals, financial goals, and then YouTube and social media goals. And I've kind of just written it all on one sheet. These are things that Jared and I both have talked about, decided we wanted to focus on this year, things we wanted to do um, and not do, so on and so forth. So, because we always deem God first, we are going to do our religious goals first. So, what are some of our religious goals this year, babe? Attend church regularly. Attend church regularly. That is one of the most important things we um, have deemed as our religious goals is attending church regularly meaning we go Sunday mornings Wednesday nights um, and then something that is more geared towards me for our religious goals is I want to do um, a solo morning devotion every morning I've actually adjusted my morning routine so that I can fit that in every morning and currently I am doing this 365 daily meditations for women so I'm absolutely loving it so far I've done it every single day this year and I'm obsessed um, our third religious goal is that we would like to do <laughs> by we I mean me I would like to do a couples devotion like weekly and the one book we are reading for the couples devotion is um, the love and respect the love and respect book and workbook this was actually a wedding gift from somebody um, from somebody so we are going to be doing that we're kind of waiting to start that once um, my sisters and my cousin kind of all get on board and we can figure out when we can what our timeline is going to be for that because we're doing this kind of as a group couple building relationship building thing and then what is our fourth religious goal babe Can't read your hand. Be more involved with the church. I thought that said in or. No. <laughs> no. She can't write. Whatever. Our fourth religious goal is be more involved with the church. And that is actually something that he designated that he wanted to do more than anything. Um, right now, I just kind of want to take like baby steps. I want to get into the routine of actually going to church on Sundays and Wednesdays. Um, and I want to kind of build my personal relationship with God. I don't mind to help out with the church, but I just don't want to like jump in and get overwhelmed with helping with a bunch of stuff. 
All right, and that is it for our religious goals. So now. And I'm actually going to let Jared go first for his personal goals because I feel like I've been talking a lot. To go to the gym more regularly. Go every day just about. Get swole, get gains. <gasps> <laughs> and what do you want to do like as far as the gym goes? Like, My goal is to lose 60 pounds. By when? By as soon as I possibly can. <laughs> and okay. by that I'm going to change my diet and that will also make me a better volleyball player because I want to be able to win a volleyball championship this year so that is his number three personal goal is win a volleyball and my championship my most important personal goal is I want to get a hole in one in golf that is my number one that I want to do hole in one hole in one we are a very active couple, and the funny thing about the winning a volleyball championship is we actually together, not last year, but in 2017, the indoor, we were indoor volleyball champs, our team. And then this past year, for sand volleyball, I think it was the summer or fall sand league. I think it was oh. fall. The fall sand league, we split up. We were on different teams, but my team made it to the championship, so I've won. We played y'all in the championship. Yeah, they played us in the championship, but we won the championship game. So that's what's really that's what really matters, babe. Anyways, that means I won two volleyball championships two years in a row. So we'll see. We'll see. She's like LeBron. She has to go to other teams to try to chase a ring. So hey, it's worked. Apparently, I'm a good luck charm for our volleyball teams. Well, except for this past indoor league season, we did we didn't do too hot, but that's okay. Thank you out. All right, so now for my personal goals. Um, my first personal goal is I wanted to create and maintain a new morning and nightly routine, which I'm kind of slacking a little bit on it, but I'm doing a lot better than I was before, so that's progress, and I'm happy with that. My second personal goal is I do want to put, like, an emphasis on my fitness goal or on my fitness and my health. So some of the things I've done to help with that aspect is I go to the gym regularly with him. We've been going every single day. Um, me, I didn't go on Wednesday, but I just had a lot to do, so that's why. But we've been going to the gym every single day. I have cut pop out of my diet. Um, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I only had, I think, one or two glasses of Sprite this past weekend, actually yesterday, but other than that, I've been drinking like all water and all milk, so I've been very proud of myself. Um, number three for third personal goals is I do want to prioritize God in all aspects of my life. Um, so I really want to put him first because if you put him first, then everything else just becomes a whole lot easier. And then number four, my fourth personal goal is I want to learn to say no. I want to take this opportunity to share that with you all as She's well. She's pretty good at it already, I can tell you. <laughs> learn to say no that's if you don't want to do something but you're feeling pressured into it or you're feeling guilty about it or whatever learn to say no if it's really not something that you want to do if it's not something that makes you happy don't do it say no if you have you know let's say a financial goal and somebody is you know making it asking if you want to go do this or go do that but you know you need to save money say no no, I don't want to do that. If you want to do something free, let's do something free, but I don't want to do that. Learn to say no. There is absolutely nothing wrong with putting yourselves first. And I'm not just meaning me. Like, as a couple, we should learn to say no more often and do the things that we want to do because at the end of the day, our happiness and our health is more important than making somebody else happy in a way. Like, that sounds, it sounds really bad, doesn't it? Kind of. But we, you've got to learn to put yourself first, and your mental health has to come before the mental health of somebody else. Uh, okay, so our third category, financial goals. So we have some new opportunities coming our way. I am finishing training up for one of them, which I'm not going to mention until everything's all said and done, and it's ready to go, and I'm ready to advertise it. Um, but the second thing coming our way, I'm also not going to talk too much about, but once that is actually set in stone and ready to go as well, I'll talk about that. So maybe once both of those come into play, I'll do a nice fun little video on that. 
but um, both of those are actually going to help us with all of these financial goals. So, babe, what's the first financial goal we have? Pay off all small debts. Yes, and our second goal is to pay off as much as we can on our big debts. So, I actually hope to do a video um, sometime soon um, talking about, like, what how what kind of debt we're in and how we're planning on working our way out of our debt um, but of course those other opportunities need to come into play and be in play before we can really sit down and film that but um, our third I want this with a financial goal it's not necessarily a financial goal but my my goal for us as a couple is to at the beginning of the month every month sit down and talk about as a couple finances so that's the budget our debt our savings like what we're looking at in our accounts all that stuff and then talk about what's going on for the month so I have this handy dandy little um, agenda book it's a my happy planner something like that the happy planner um, which I'm absolutely obsessed with so at the beginning of the month we want to go over what's going on what birthdays do we have this month? What events do we've got going on? What are different things we want to do? What are things we need to save up for this month? So on and so forth. And then I also want to do like a general meal prepping. Let's, you know, throw throw some recipes that we would like to try this month on a on a sheet or something. And then when it comes that time for us to talk about it, we can pick a few out that we want to try this month. So on and so forth. So that is kind of one of our goals. And then our fifth goal, I'm sorry. Just kidding. Our fourth goal. Put money into a savings account. Build up a savings account so that we can get a house, so we can get land, so we can get a lot of stuff that we want. A lot of stuff. So that is our financial goals. And then fourth and final goals would be more my YouTube and social media goals than his YouTube and social media goals. He just kind of is the pretty face that shows up and gets to be in videos, right? <laughs> Are you voguing? Is that what you got? No, <laughs> both things to vogue. Oh, okay. Um, so my first YouTube goal is I really want to hammer down and focus on getting my videos edited, finished, ready to go, um, preferably at the beginning of the week, like before the week even starts um, so on Sunday nights having those ready to go and then my my big goal we're not gonna be able to accomplish it yet because we just have hotspots on our phone which if you know anything about hotspots versus Wi-Fi the hotspots you can drain a lot quicker whereas Wi-Fi is just a constant thing that you have so until we can get Wi-Fi in here um, I kind of have to play by ear and maybe go here and there just to upload um, but once we have Wi-Fi, my goal will be to upload my videos every Sunday night and have them scheduled to where they'll post on Tuesdays and Thursdays as, at a more specific time. And right now, I don't know if many of you notice, I'm kind of playing around with the times that I do post my videos, um, or at least make them public anyways, for the simple fact that I'm trying to figure out like when the best time for me to post a video is going to be. So if you all have any thoughts or like, concerns or anything about when you think we should post our videos um comment down below and let us know your thoughts and your ideas um and then i also would like to become more regular on instagram and facebook i'm making more postings maybe not daily postings but at least scheduling facebook posts every time we post a video same thing with instagram trying to get our channel out there and get more people to see it um, and things like that. And then I'm also wanting to try to find a couple of YouTubers maybe to start doing collabs with because I've met a couple of people on YouTube that I'm really loving their videos. I'm really loving um, seeing what they've got going on with their families and stuff. And I'm just really wanting to find someone to collab with, but I'm just a little shy. So it's going to take me some time. But that is one of my goals is I want to find um, some good people to do some collabs with so that I can help grow their channel, they can help grow mine, and we can kind of be all in this together in the words of High School Musical. Um, and then another thing that I want to get better at with my um, YouTube goals is goal number three, and that's remember to take my thumbnail photos. 
I'm sure many of you YouTubers out there watching this are like, yes, girl, <laughs> I need to do that too. Um, but that is one thing that I slack on more than anything is I'm so excited to get a video. I get it going. Are you making faces behind I'm not me? making, I'm not doing anything. I'm just. Okay. I swear I feel like you're making faces <laughs> I'm not making me. any faces. Okay. Um, but I need to remember to take those thumbnail photos. Um, those thumbnails are what's going to. Oh my You're God. doing it? What are you doing? doing I anything. see your eyebrows moving. How do you see my eyebrows? I don't moving. know, You're but I do. Straight. I can see it on my peripheral. Anyways, those thumbnail photos. Um, my fourth and final YouTube and social media goal is I want to work on my editing skills, my video editing skills, as well as my thumbnail editing skills. I think I have down. You are moving your mouth. I see you now. I was looking at my lips. You're a liar. Continue, please. Um, but I want to work on my editing skills as well as um, <laughs> my editing skills for my videos as well as my thumbnails. You're so funny. Um, I have kind of been playing around with my thumbnails, and I think I've gotten thumbnail design down that I'm really loving so that I can stay consistent with it. So we'll see we'll see where 2019 takes us with the YouTube and social media. I would really love to hit a thousand subscribers by the by the end of 2019. So that is one goal I'm setting out for myself. So it's not necessarily on the paper, but I wanted to mention that I'm hoping to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of 2019. So we'll see where that goes. But as of for now, that is all of the goals that we have kind of talked about and written down for this year. Are you excited about this year? Mm -hmm. June of this year, we'll be married one year. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So that is it for today's video. So just make sure you comment down below. Um, if you have any fun video ideas that you'd like to see out of us this year, as well as um, maybe some of your goals. We would love to hear what some of your all's goals for 2019 is. Um, and one of the reasons that we're posting this video is that by posting this video, I feel like it's helping us to be more accountable for our goals because we're sharing it with all of you guys on YouTube. And if you all see it, and I feel like it's just, it's holding us accountable. You all can hold us accountable for our goals to make sure we stick with it and work hard. So comment down below your video ideas. Let us know what some of your goals for 2019 are. You have anything else you want to say? Bye. Have a wonderful time. <laughs> all right, guys. See you in the next one.